Legend of Total War here, and today we're doing a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as the Legion of Asgore going up against Clan Rictus, which is why in my campaign review I always recommend taking out Clan Rictus so this doesn't happen. But here we go, we've got two full stacks coming at us here at the Sentinels, which has been turned into a factory, so it's going to be a minor settlement siege. And we've got some dangerous units in here. Most of it is trash, but there are some dangerous units. The uh, Doom Wheel, Tretch is quite dangerous. And the warp fire throwers. Those are probably going to be the biggest problem. Just because of how much trash that we have in our army here. That they're just going to take out the goblin laborers like it's absolutely nothing. So we really need to watch out for them. Uh, in terms of whether or not to control large army here. I'm in two minds about it. I, I could deny their reinforcements to begin with. But then all of my best units won't be on the battlefield and all I'll have is mostly trash. So I'm actually going to control large army in this situation because I really want that blunderbuss at the start. Right, let's jump in here and see what we can do. Now these Chaos Dwarf minor settlement maps are pretty easy to defend because they're quite large and the... the um, the corridors are quite straightforward, so you don't get line of sight issues too much. The towers have good line of sight as well. So we'll see how we go. Another problem is this wizard. Don't know how much we'll be able to blob up. Whether it's a plague or ruin wizard, we, we're not going to be able to blob up. Not that we should, but we're going to have a lot of units in a small area, so I may have to leave quite a few in reserve so they don't get smashed by it. I kind of wish he had recruited orc laborers instead of goblin laborers. I just think they're vastly better. Or even better still, recruit more hoblin, hobgoblin sneaky gets. Alright, so this guy over here is... Okay, plague. That's possibly more dangerous. We've actually got more supplies here than what it said we'd have. It only said we'd have um, 500, but this is good. Alright, they're all coming in from this location here. So, typically speaking, you want to be as far away from wherever they're setting up. So, this point over here is probably best. Or this one. Yeah, it doesn't really make any difference. Or we could possibly use both. Yeah, I, I think like, we could hold on to both. I don't think holding on to the center is of much value just because there's no towers there. And you really want to make use of those towers because most of our units here just aren't going to do much damage. And so we're going to have to rely on the towers, obviously. So, goblins, they're just here to just try to hold the line as long as possible. The sneaky gits can be used to recapture points since they stalk. But we're going up against such a large army. I wonder if I should harass them to begin with. Their speed is 35. Yeah, the problem is the speed of the Skaven units are comparable. Hmm. I'm really not sure what, what to do about that. Alright, but we should not use our best units to begin with. Let them waste all of their effort on our trash. Use the goblin laborers first. So let's have a look here. Okay, I think I'm going to want to put... Oh, also the factory here. 900 instead of 1400 for that. That's really cheap. Okay, get that. And... Actually, you know what I'll do? Because it'll take them a little while to get here, why don't I put a tower here to begin with? Because that'll get shots in fairly early. It'll take them a little t bit of time to get there here. That'll get destroyed, for sure. But I'm fairly confident that I'll have other towers set up here before they'll have a chance to get here. Okay, we want to hold off at this position here, I think. Okay, it would have been better if he had a wizard here, especially a metal wizard. That's really good in this scenario. Not for unlimited magic. You're not going to get that at, you know, rank 1. Not that they... The lords actually can't get the unlimited magic, only the, the demon smiths. But it's just... Metal magic is good for defending sieges. Because blobs end up happening, and bombardment is really useful. So this guy here, we just mainly need him for his contempt. So that he can keep these guys in line. Like I said, try not to blob up. Because that's going to be a problem. Okay. Right, I'm going to put all the gobos here. 
Should I also defend this position? One position is easier to defend than two. So I'll just stay over here. Okay. Keep all of our best units in reserve, although when their heroes get over here, they'll probably start targeting us. I'll keep the blunderbuss in reserve just to begin with, because they'll target it. Make sure we're not in skirmish mode. Yeah, there's always one, isn't there? Okay, guard mode, yep. Okay, and these guys here, what should we do with them? Yeah, I think I should try to recap points after... Also, they might just sit there and wait while their reinforcements come in as well. That could be good. Maybe I should set up another basic tower here. Hmm, nah. Okay. I'm gonna put them all down here, and... I'm either gonna run out this way or this way, but I'd like to harass them. At least to begin with. Come on. There we go. And we'll see how we go. Alright. So don't shoot just yet. I think they're just going to sit there. Alright, oh, yeah, the tower is actually not within range. Is there one that's closer? I don't see a potential tower to use there. That's fine. This, this just gives us a lot of time to build up supplies. That's fine. Now, I could use the Dread... Quake battery right now, but the problem with that is... Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have sent the Overseer in to begin with, get them to blob up around him, because they're not going to shoot him. And Dreadquake battery them then. Well, it's too late now. I didn't think about doing that until just then. Because yeah, there's nothing here that's dangerous to him until Tret shows up in 19 seconds. Hmm. It's too late now. We'll have other opportunities to use the Dreadquake batteries. Yeah, if I pop it down now, they'll just dodge it. Although I could do it to Tretch as he's coming in. Uh, they won't have a chance to dodge. Alright, screw it, let's do it. Come on. Come on, Dreadquakes. Alright, that's... I'm pretty happy with that. That's... That's Storm Vermin got hit with it as well. Good. Alright, hang on. We got some supplies we should spend. Damn restrict camera. Okay. Let's get this going. Uh, yeah, just do the 900 one. And we've got to have another one ready in just a second. Cool. We'll get the barricades up in a moment as well. But yeah, if we can distract a portion of their army to come chase after the sneaky gifts, that could be good. I don't know if I really want to waste ammo on this kind of garbage here. Do you know what their shots would be good on? The, um... Doom Wheel. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is just get their attention and get them to chase after us this way, which buys us more time to build up supplies. Could shoot them, but... It'd just be a waste of ammo on this trash here. Pictures rank 12. Okay, at least he doesn't have regen, so that's good. Okay, Dreadquake battery's ready to go. If I pop it down here, I'm pretty confident they'll dodge it. Unless, unless I keep them pinned down. I need a hero to pin them down. This this one here, their leadership's 33. If I send them in here, they're going to instantly route. It just won't work. Okay. This is fine. I'm pretty happy with that first Dread Quake battery, but yeah, it's very enticing to do that right now, but I just know that they'll dodge it. 
We duck A. -E. Okay, that is a unit worth shooting. Okay. No, not you guys. It's a waste of ammo on Skaven slaves. But Death Runners definitely worth shooting. Good, we got some shots coming in there. Okay, well, taking it a death runner, I think that's pretty good use of their ammo. No casualties so far for us. And they're starting to ignore us, which I don't know if that's good or bad. The tower over... What are they doing? Alright, we got some more uh, supply points. We should go and build some more towers. Alright, this spot over here has already had them built. Let's get these down. Still got plenty of time to get the barricades up, because they only take 30 seconds to build, whereas the towers take 90, so we want to get them done first. Oh, so tempting to pop that down there, but I just know that they'll dodge it. So yeah, what we do with these guys now is, after these guys here have run past this supply point, we basically just go and recapture it. And that way... If we end up losing the fight that's going to have over here, these guys here will preserve our balance of power, hopefully, and so that we can win via the towers. Oh man, that's even juice. Even juicier over there. Yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Alright, here comes next tower over here. Yeah, if I had thrown him in at the start, we could have pinned them down with Tormentor Sword. I still think we'll get a good opportunity with this. And if we're going to hit anything, we should really try to hit the warp fire throwers, because those are going to be the biggest problem for us. Alright. Oh, so tempting. I just know they'll dodge it. So yeah, that's getting some damage in there. I can't get over there because of um, restrict camera, but we should go for the bigger blobs out this way. That way, if it misses, it still hopefully hits something. Sneak. Basically, lower chance of it missing completely than shooting the guys at the front. It still misses a lot, though. So they got a stalking unit up there. So I guess I made a good call to build on this one because they haven't started capturing that yet. This one here is not worth it that much to them. That's just going to slow down our supply line, right? Okay, we need to start building barricades. So over here, let's get a basic one here. So that'll give us our... Ah, oh, that's facing the wrong way. <laughs> that's, not, that's not particularly useful. Um, okay. Well, that's how we restore our ammo. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's in the wrong way. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, whatever. And uh, we'll do another barricade there. No point putting barricades there. Uh, what about over here? Yeah, there's no point. That won't even slow them down. Okay, it's been capped. It's about to be capped. Uh, we could start demolishing this, although I don't think it'll get done in time. If I could just click on it. Should still keep shooting. Alright, still playing Skaven music. So the bounce of power must still be in their favor. But yeah, they were not interested in our sneaky gits at all. If we're lucky as well, they'll shoot their own units with the warp fire throwers. We just need to make sure that that actually happens. Don't blob up too much. Yeah, putting a barricade down here isn't going to do anything. Alright, we've got all the towers that we could possibly build at the moment. Until at least we recap these positions here, which we have to just wait for them to walk past, because 
Hitting them in the rear here just isn't going to do anything. There's just too many of them. Uh, Alright, let's bring the blunderbusses up. Since they're not coming at us too much right now. And the wizard went the other way, I think. up a little bit. Uh, that's blobbing up a bit, but again, the wizard's not here, so we're okay at the moment. Yeah, you guys get ready to shoot. This thing is not going to do anything. It's not exactly worth a whole lot, but it's good. All right, have these guys start to come up this way here. There's the wizard. Got to watch out for him. Cease fire for now. Uh, it's not worth going back over here to restore their ammo just yet. They don't seem too concerned about coming over this way. That's good. If we can have these towers fighting for us the whole battle, that'd be great. Alright, you need to hold into this position here. Oh, hang on, hang on. The Doom Wheel's here. Which way is it going? Whichever way it's going, that's where we need the, the blunderbusses to deal with. Which way is it going to go? Okay, it's coming down this way, so we just need to make sure. Have this guy tank it. Alright, you guys shoot these over here, and you shoot the Doom Wheel. And there we go, pin it down. Come on, shoot it. Good start on them there. Alright, this is an opportunity to use the Dreadquake battery. I just have to have them pinned down. Try to use the Lord for that. That way I'm not going to hurt my own units too much. Alright, we should be free to come over here and recapture that. That looks more Dreadquake battery worthy. Just wait. He can hold out there for quite some time. Don't send in the infantry there just yet. That's That might even be better. Of course, it's all just trash at the moment. Oh god, he got terrified. He'd be terrified by... It's probably the Doom Wheel. Okay, good thing we weren't blobbed up there. Oh, don't get in their way, don't get in their way. It's alright. We've almost got rid of the Doom Wheel. Okay, he's fine again. Alright, let's Dreadquake Battery there. Because that's a nice big blob. And we need to start focusing over here. Okay, they did end up capping that point. That's fine. We've only got one point left, but the Sneaky Gits will make sure that we get another one. They, oh, they're trying to blow that up. Alright, that bit there is... Okay, you just, you just do the clean up. And you can come back here now. Good, the goblins, you know, they're doing their job of just holding the line there. Not too bad. Don't worry about the scaven slaves things too much. Maybe just get the tails to shoot, shoot that. Yeah, we're not too badly blobbed over here, so this dude's not doing that much damage to us. You just keep shooting. Doom wheels back, make sure we focus on that. How are they going over here? They're gonna need to restore their ammo soon. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we are starting to get a little bit overrun over here, which means I need to make sure we actually hold this position. Okay, Doom Wheel's been destroyed. Get rid of this. I need to get rid of this guy here. Luckily, his spellcasting abilities at the moment are pretty terrible. Shooting. These guys should come back. Okay, 
Okay, I think we may need more people in this area here just to really prevent them. Okay, we captured the other point, so that's fine. All right, let's go capture the other point over here. Oh, hang on, they're sending someone back. Get back down here. Don't bother spending any points. At least we drew some of their forces away. I need to be shooting into this. I don't have any more Dreadquake batteries. Okay, I'll rebuild that later. They really should have that wizard over here. That's where we're vulnerable. Okay, I need another unit. Pinning them down here. Get the orc laborers there. Shoot into this. Good, all the warp fire throwers haven't really participated in the battle, because that's the units I'm most concerned about here. Okay, that's actually going to be a decent spell cast on that part. I blobbed up too much. Okay, I need to use the Tormentor Sword to slow them down a bit. Alright, I see what's happening here. We're a little bit obstructed. Yeah, I need to move a little bit more to this angle. Try to move these guys a little bit more around here. Oh, oh no, 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 <laughs> my blunderbusses. I didn't see that flamethrower there. Okay, I didn't take that many casualties. You, go after him. Okay. Few casualties, bit of damage, but we're okay. Still full functioning unit. Alright, losing this position. Right, get over there. Oh, I can't. There's bloody restricted camera. Don't focus on Just, Just don't worry about them right now. Okay, good. We've chased away the warp fire thrower there a little bit. That's good. These ones here, are they shooting? Good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Good, getting those kills up. Okay, these guys here have run out of ammo, pretty much. Just leave one of them behind. You go over here, go restore your ammo. You know what, it would be pretty good if we... We'll get detected before we get too close to that bloody warp fire thrower. Get over here, get rid of this assassin. That dude's gonna kill heaps otherwise. Still got heaps of reserves. We haven't even used up our dwarf infantry yet. Okay, let's get this barricade back up. And the reason why we're using the goblins up first rather than the dwarf warriors preserves our balance of power so that we can try to get the army losses a little bit easier. Okay, but we are starting to run out of reserves over here. Did we? Yeah, these guys came back. They're not going to be that useful. Okay, this guy's getting his ammo restored. Okay, hurry up. Okay, good. Get back over here, because this one here is out. Need to use you now. Alright, you. Hold them back. Okay, retaking that again. Alright, need to use the Dwarf Warriors over here. Starting to overrun this position here. Not you, not you. Okay, we've got loads of supplies, so let's use some here. Still playing Skaven music. Alright, go over it. Capture that point. This guy here is holding out pretty well. Okay, I need the blunderbusses to shoot. There's some very good targets over here that we need to go for. Just gotta get these guys back a little bit. Yep, yeah, go for the... Oh, God. Okay, try to ignore the damn hero. He's doing what we're doing over here. Just pinning us down. Need to shoot... 
the warp fire throwers. I knew they were going to be a huge problem. They're starting to cap this point. But it's okay if they do take it. Luckily our sneaky gets are keeping us in the fight. Okay, that lots to do. Just get back over here. Good, warp fire throw over there is getting wrecked. How are we going over here? Are oh, you fighting Tretch? That's not good. Tretch is a good fighter. Come on, into this big blob here. Good, you got rid of that. Okay, you guys, run over here. Good, we recaptured that point. I need to shoot this damn assassin. He's already got loads of kills. No, come on, hang on. We haven't finished with that warp fire throw yet. And our lord is getting wrecked. I need to bring him back. Yeah, try to run through here. God, situation over here is a mess. Okay, it's starting to play Chaos Dwarf music now, so the bounce of power must be in our favor. Push through there. If you can walk through... Oh, it never got built. Quick, before you die. Just run right through that unit, if you can. This guy's coming to assist. How are you going over here? Yeah, just keep holding them back. Alright, our guys over here. Yep, yeah, that's a great idea. Go cap that. How are we going over here? Good, capping that. Yeah, let's get rid of this wizard here. Dude here. Out of it. Yeah, they're just go and fight Tretch, but keep him out. He's, he's done for this battle. Okay, that's good. That guy's getting wrecked there. Oh, they've got freaking... Yeah, that's going to hurt. What grind is... Oh, God. Damage on that. Good, that assassin's in the gun. Yeah, get rid of these damn warp grinders. I don't want them doing that again. Capping that point. These guys just come over here. Migrate to that position. Sneak gets are doing okay. I mean, they're not really fighting, but they are doing what I want them to do, which is cap points. Uh, start coming over here. I don't think there's enough units over this way to defend this position. More fire throws. Just get back. Try to, we'll try to shoot them at long range. Alright, let's get towers built over here. Alright, our blunderbusses are just about out of ammo, so while there's a bit of a break in the fighting over here, let's go and restore it. Yeah, the regular archers are better at dealing with the warp fire throws just due to having higher range than them. These guys here, yeah, just keep Tretch busy because he's too bloody strong. Just push on over here. You can see they're not doing any damage to Tretch, but all these missile units are annoying me. I want to push them back a little bit. Doesn't matter if we're shooting at a small target like that. That dude's almost dead. Okay, do we have... Yep, we got some units lingering around over here. They're not going to be of much use, but just bring them over. How are we going out this way? Yeah, we got... it's all just routing units out this way. Alright, things are calming down now, that's good. Let me get rid of these damn missile units here. These guys are not good against heroes, but just push these damn missile units back, giving us some time to restore our ammo over here. There we go. Good, there we go. Now if Tretch wants to come down over here, I got some blunderbuss for him. Okay, oh, whoops. Okay, we're okay, we got him. 
What happened over here? They must have fought something in Melek. Yeah, go after this, go after this, take that out. Doesn't matter if they cap the point, just go get after them. Good, it's activating their skirmish mode, so they're running away from us, not getting a chance another shoot in. And that looks like army losses. No? Yes? No? Yes, army losses, we won. Come on, kill that hero. I don't think we're going to get him. There's a small chance that maybe the towers can get him. Maybe this guy here, if we can just cut him off. Because, yeah, that hero, we don't want that dude coming back. We definitely don't want him getting immortality. How are we going here? Doesn't look like we're going to be able to run them down. Their speed's too high. We're not going to be able to get him. That's a shame. I think we killed their other lord, though. But we might be able to pursue Treacher's army afterwards, because our main army here, we didn't lose many of the Hobgoblin sneaky gits. We should be able to pursue and finish them off. Just destroy them in order resolve. Yeah, I don't know how we... We don't have any fast enough units to be able to catch him. Oh no, I didn't end up killing him. Well, that's okay. That just means I won't replace him. And we'll see how we go. Alright, I can't catch up to the escaping news. They're too quick. Okay, so the goblins took all the serious damage, which is exactly what you want them to be doing. This army here got obliterated. But Treacher's army took most of the damage, which is good. Because he had the best army. That one was a real pain, though. But a lot of the warp fire throws didn't get a chance to do a lot of damage, so that's also good. And we didn't actually end up needing to uh, restore the ammo for the blunderbusses, they didn't get a chance to shoot again. So one unit of ours wiped out. But all of their heroes survived, unless we can pursue and finish them off. So, if we go replenishment... Let me have a look at this. It's a lot of labor. Yeah, we'll go with labor. It's too useful. Alright, at least they're split up, so they're not going to back each other up. But how far... Oh, he was on force march too. Uh, we're not going to have enough movement to catch him, but I think we will have enough to catch Dretch. Looks like he wants to go after Darkhold now. So you did fight against Tretch, but you didn't wipe him out at the start. Right. Yeah, I highly recommend taking him out early. Or being best friends with him, which you didn't do either of. And you're recruiting there, so that's good. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to take out Tretch. And his hero there. And that, that dude there is no big deal. In fact, he might die just due to corruption. In fact, I reckon their hero died from corruption. Due to the attrition. Let's have a look. Yeah, he did. He, he died. And this one over here. He didn't die. And we got enough movement to catch Tretch there. So what the hell happened here with Clan Richters? How did this end up happening? It's so got three settlements. Hmm. Right, so we ended up fighting the overlords of Zardok. Interesting. Well, that is an easy order resolve for you there. I would probably recruit a small force over at Darkhold because this army here could potentially overwhelm the garrison because there's only an outpost there. Just recruit a lord. You don't even need regiments of renown and that should be enough to stop them. 
Because, yeah, just a lord by themselves. Unless they replace this dude here with an assassin, you should be able to handle that. Because the garrison of Darkhold is mostly trashy. That unit there might be fairly useful. But you don't have a blunderbuss there. Yeah, you've got that. Yeah, you need to take out Tretch right away. Overall, the campaign is... You know, it's only early days. You, at least you've taken out um, Imrik, so that's good as well. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm not worried about uh, the Sentinels being taken over. You've got this. And uh, be aggressive. Take this army here and push against the Skaven. Because that was probably all the force he had. Oh, no. He's got another army somewhere. <laughs> God. Damn Skaven. That's what I tell you. you got to get rid of them early. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you guys. And we'll see you next time. Later.